awesome. Jeremy Damar is here. Well, I'm so happy because I'm in UK. Most of the time, in Asamanga, I have a Lima Short, I have United States of America. But today, I'm in UK. And well, I'm with my good friend, Anna. How are you? Hello, Jeremy. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Number one, you should call me my event. I came on on Saturday yes. for your event yes. in the UK. Yes. And it was awesome. Thank you. The turn up was good. Thank you. People are happy. Yes. We left quite happy. Asante sana. Yeah. Nashukuru sana. Mm. Tukiwa na watu kama nyinyi hii dunia, yeah. it will be a better place. And you as well. Thank you. Yeah, well, unajua nimekuwa nikikufuata sana kwa YouTube. Yes, na nimeona umefanya kazi nzuri na I said when I get to the UK, actually this is my first interview. Ile tunaweza sema ni interview yes. ya kufanya yes. because we said we have to lift one another. Yes. So now Anna, tuanzie hapo. Kwenu ni wapi na kwanza nikupe nafasi kuwasalimia watazamaji wetu. <laughs> Hello, uh, Jeremy Damaris um, uh, uh, viewers, mm -hmm. uh, JDM. Yes. Uh, thank you for supporting uh, Jeremy. Yes. Jeremy is, is a man of God. Thank you. Uh, he has changed so many lives thank you. across the whole world. Yes. And thank you for joining us and feel blessed as you listen to me and to Jeremy. And I really appreciate this time and mm. this platform. Amen. Amen. Kenya kwenu ni wapi? Kwetu mm. ni Kigumo. Kigumo kwa Jamreti. In Kiambu. Kule kule kwa Jamre. Oh, Kigumo in Kiambu. Yeah. Hiyo iko wapi? Kigumo in Kiambu yeah. is uh, in Komodai location. Komodai location. Yeah. Well, hiyo yeah. ni pande ile ya Gedhongori sasa. Ni Gedhongori sasa oh, lakini yeah. Komodai ah, okay. yeah, in Kiambu county. Awesome. Yeah. Seems like kama ulikuja UK kitambo sana. Ah, uh, not really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was born in Kenya. Yes. As I said in Kegumo, mm -hmm. I attended the Roko Primary School, right. Kehudelio Primary School. Mm -hmm. So we used to walk to school. Yes. And then from there, I joined the local school, mm -hmm. which was with Komodai Girls. Yes. And then from there, I joined Kaboy Girls. Mm -hmm. And then from Kaboy Girls, mm -hmm. I went to Kenyatta University. Right. Yeah. And then, then qualified as a teacher. Mm. Yeah. So you have been in a, as a, a teacher in Kenya? I, I taught in Kenya for mm -hmm. a few years. Okay. And then uh, when I finished my B.A., mm -hmm. Uh, from KU, mm -hmm. I was posted to the the Adrini boys. Right. Adrini boys still in Komodai. Mm -hmm. I think I've been Komodai girl. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then from there, in 2003, mm -hmm. we came to the UK. Okay. And since I came to UK, mm. I've never changed my career. Wow. I remain a teacher up to today. Yes, So. <laughs> yeah. So, ulifunza umeitaji? Adrini boys. So, ulienda shule ngini ama niyo tu? Uh, in, initially, when I left K, KU, right. I was posted to Maragua mm -hmm. Secondary School, okay. just across Maragua Town. Mm -hmm. And then I got a transfer mm -hmm. to Adrini Boys, okay. where I taught for a few years. Mm -hmm. And then I came to the UK. I hope we will see you the Mwalimu wa Mahesabu watu wa Nashida wa Kitafuta. I am actually here to say maybe... Um, I don't know whether it's to defend the math teacher. <laughs> 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 but probably that math teacher is had the best interest for the students right. but because of frustration mm -hmm. or maybe the way people address people yes. maybe mwarimu ahesabu akasema hivyo alisema we hutaenda bali yeah i believe from, uh, uh, by the way i believe in the power of words right. yeah mm -hmm. because death and life yes. and the power you of tongue right. yes. yeah mm -hmm. so as teachers as adults mm -hmm. We need to be careful yes. what we tell the young right. people. Yes. We mm. didn't need, mm. even when we have got the best interest for them, yes. even when we are very frustrated, mm. we need to be careful yes. with the words of our mouth. Mm. You know, we need to, to correct. Yes. There's nothing wrong correcting mm. the kids, but we need to be careful with the words of our mouth so that we don't do it in yes. a way, mm -hmm. even if you have got the best interest, yes. then the kid mm. or the young person you are trying to correct, yes. maybe get it in another way. Okay, in fact, initially, I was going to talk about how the subject you are teaching. I'm a geography teacher. Geography teacher. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Sigaroya Wangu. I was like, my geography teacher was uh, Mrs. Sigaroya. Now she yeah. works as a nurse in, in, uh, in Seattle now. Oh, Salimika, that's, that's I geography in Kariya Sana. Yeah, when yeah. we started studying about rocks. rocks. Yeah, for me, uh, my my degree was in geography. Mm -hmm. My BA yes. at KU, I did up my did geography. Okay, and then of course qualified. And mm -hmm. when I came here, I have never changed it. Mm -hmm. So I'm teaching geography at Key Stage Three, mm -hmm. which is a foundation. Right in the secondary school, mm -hmm. when kids come from primary school, mm -hmm. we need that firm foundation. Okay, and then as they move on to Key Stage Four, mm -hmm. where they have to do the option, choose mm -hmm. the subject that they want to do. Right, then they have got that. Uh, firm foundation mm -hmm. and they are able to make a decisive decision mm -hmm. these are the subjects that i want to do okay uh, for example in the uk mm -hmm. let's say 
in all schools, mm -hmm. mathematics, mm -hmm. uh, English, and mm -hmm. sciences are compulsory. Right. But the other subject will be optional, mm -hmm. although there are some uh, schools that will say this subject is compulsory yes. on top of the three. Mm -hmm. But even as they make that option, mm -hmm. then they have got a good founda foundation. Okay. Then when they go to key stage four now, which is now the exam, mm -hmm. national exam, right. which is GCSE, mm -hmm. Then I also go with them, those mm -hmm. who pick geography. Mm -hmm. So for key stage three is compulsory. Okay. Then those who pick it for their GCSE, mm -hmm. I, I move with them, of course, as a department, they okay. are the geography teachers, okay. and then they we prepare them for the GCSE. Mm -hmm. There are those after the GCSE who choose to do it for their GCE, okay. A-levels right. or college, mm -hmm. and they go with it. Mm -hmm. uh, there are those who choose to go to university or okay. to other careers. Awesome, yeah. awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. So Anna, when you came to the UK, yeah. actually, you know, in the US, so we all have got a journey yes and uh, we all have got a testimony mm -hmm. and i'm actually jeremy for bringing me to this platform right. to address that and yes. for that question mm -hmm. so what happened is my at some point i got married yes. and uh, we felt maybe we need to go abroad we had that desire mm -hmm. of going abroad yes. and further our studies yes. or pursue you know mm -hmm. further our studies mm -hmm. so Initially, uh, it's me who applied, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to come to the United Kingdom. Right. But the master's degree that I applied for, mm -hmm. I didn't know that it is only offered mm -hmm. to the home students here. Okay. They don't offer it to overseas students. Mm -hmm. It's for home students. So when I applied, I sent everything, including the references, mm -hmm. and then they came back to me. But the UK is very good right. in responding. Mm -hmm. So they came back to me. And they told me we received the application. Mm -hmm. uh, we are sorry we don't offer it to overseas students. Right. So, me mm nikaweka my letter there, and I left it there for some time. Mm -hmm. But then the following year, my husband applied to come and study. Okay. Most people don't know that universities, U United Kingdom universities, mm -hmm. come to Kenya. Right. For educational exhibitions. Oh yeah. So my husband went to Sarit Center. Mm -hmm. They had come. Mm -hmm. You know the 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 universities are. Uh, in the United Kingdom mm -hmm. had sent their delegate right. to come for the ed education exhibition mm -hmm. at Sari Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my husband went for the Audition. application mm -hmm. for the interview. Mm -hmm. And by God's grace, he made it. He mm -hmm. got to universities wow. and then he chose University of Birmingham. Mm -hmm. So that's how he came. Again, something else we did to know mm -hmm. that the borders were open. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned to you that at times you can open two years border i mean okay. two years work visa mm -hmm. they, they open the borders mm -hmm. for two years where they give two years work visa mm -hmm. for the student who successfully complete in any of their higher institution of running awesome. above bachelor's mm. degree and above wow so we actually when my husband went we didn't know the borders were open mm -hmm. so when he went and he was he then returned for the visa mm -hmm. Uh, at that time, we used to go to Upper Hill. Right. It's now moves, the, of, the offices are moved to Westlands. Yes. So by that time, we used to go to Upper Hill. Mm -hmm. So when my husband went, uh, he was told that his application for the visa was successful. Right. So we used to go very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Then they told to come back for the passport in the afternoon. Right. And he was told he was successful. Mm -hmm. So when he was told, he was told to come back in the afternoon for the visa mm -hmm. and himself he was going back for one year you know okay. when he was going back mm -hmm. for the visa mm -hmm. he was going for knowing that he was given one year mm -hmm. but when he went he had three years wow <laughs> he had wow. three years mm. we didn't understand that time the borders were open now so for two him, years now for, so there's the one yes. year for the and, master's mm -hmm. program yes. and the two years work visa hey, mm. and i have to say that was god's favor yes. favor mm -hmm. because one other people who had applied and they got one year right so we don't know what they were looking for mm. so he was given those three years and of course the three years they have additional months mm -hmm. there because of graduation and all yes. that and that's how we came so if it's a near family as a student but then when he came he came uh september yes so myself and left the two kids we had a daughter and a son right but we have got another one here mm, okay. so that time we had the two mm. so we felt that 48 months mm. it's it's a bit because he got 48 months yes. in the visa, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, some time mm. so uh he, he, we agreed that i i can come I can join him mm -hmm. uh, and especially even the kids to have their dad around and right. all that so mm -hmm. 
Uh, for me, I just applied for leave mm -hmm. from the TSC because yes. I was employed by the TSC. Right. And for sure, I was granted the leave to come. Mm -hmm. And then when I came here, so we joined him on a dependent visa now. Okay. So when we came as a dependent to him, mm -hmm. and then he was at the university. Mm -hmm. And then after he finished, we still had uh, two years left. Yes. Yeah. And then after that, we agreed I can go to university myself as mm -hmm. well. Uh, uh, taking you back, mm -hmm. I told you I had a pride. Yes. And I was told they don't give it to overseas, overseas students. students yes. But when I arrived there, mm -hmm. because we joined my husband six months after he had been here, right. when I arrived there, the mm -hmm. following day, I called the university. You said, I'm here now. I told them I'm here, and right. I told them I did apply, mm -hmm. but I was told it, it's not given to overseas students. Right. It's only for home students. Mm -hmm. And then they told me, I called in the morning. They told me, call again in the afternoon. We see whether you can get the application. Right. And for sure, mm -hmm. I called again in the afternoon. Actually, they called me back yes. in the afternoon. They mm -hmm. told me, we have found the application. Mm -hmm. Are you able to come? I told them I'm available. So I went the following day. Mm -hmm. So I had a chat with the admin. Right. And then uh, they... They uh, now invited me for the interview. Mm -hmm. So when I went, I was the only overseas student, mm. and I was offered. I get, I got the offer. Wow! So uh, you know, I don't take it for granted mm. because uh, most overseas students they mm. pay a lot of money. But I because I was the only home student, yes. I was allowed to pay the home student fee. Wow! Yeah. Uyo ni mungu. Uyo ni mungu. So maisha ikanza hapo. Maisha ya London. Mm -hmm. Maisha ya Birmingham. Mm, tunasemaga maisha landa. Kira mtu kiona mambo ni mazoezi mambo ni maisha ya <laughs> So maisha <laughs> ya Birmingham ikaanza hapo. Yes, so now after school, yeah. of course, lazima sasa uandikwe kazi. Yeah, so what happened mm. is that was uh, I did mas I applied for the masters right. now mm -hmm. in counseling yes. but in education. Okay. So I successfully completed it but uh, just to encourage someone mm. there wondering yes. how mm. uh, I just want to give all the to testify of the goodness yes, of God. Because yes. my husband was in full-time education at mm, that time. Right. Uh, when I arrived there, mm -hmm. I applied with an education agency yes. for, to teach mm, yeah, through an agency. Right. But I couldn't go into teaching straight away mm. because my kids were young. Yes. And in this country, mm. my son was three, my daughter was five. In mm. this country, you have to drop the kids on time and pick them on time. Right. So going to school was a bit difficult for me and my husband was quite busy at the university. Mm. That time he's now writing his exams, yes. dissertations. Mm. So I first did, I did support work at night. Mm. <laughs> so I started 9 p.m. and work mm -hmm. and left at 7 a.m. Wow. And then I'll come and prepare the kids for school. But mm. immediately I finished, I joined now that what I told you, the counseling in education. Sasa, maisha yeah. ni kufanya kazi kuangalia watoto yeah. na pia kusoma. Yeah, but after finishing now yes. my counseling, mm -hmm. uh, uh, my postgraduate in counseling, right. I really felt I wanted to go back to class. <laughs> I felt my calling is in teaching. Sasa, unasem, unajua kuna watuwebi sana ambao wanakujaka diaspora. Yeah. The time you land, whether in UK, in yeah. Spain, in US, mutu natafutaga wapi, wapi ile pesa. Yeah. You kama hata kama ulikuwa wewe ni professor Kenya yeah. unasahau na professor wako because tumezoea kuziwa uoga ukifika hapa masomo mm. yako ya Kenya yeah. inakuwa zero yeah. you have to start from scratch probably yeah. na wale unajua sasa kuna wale wa, ni hivi nani akiambiwa hivi anasema ah wacha niende nikaoshe kama for me, mm -hmm. for me Jeremy what right. i did is most people don't know when i came here mm -hmm. i applied for the comparability, the comparison of my Kenyan qualifications right. and the UK. Mm -hmm. I applied through an organization called UK NARIC. Right. And my all my qualifications mm -hmm. from primary school mm -hmm. to university yes. and the UK were equal. Awesome. Yeah, so when I finished my, now my postgraduate in counseling, mm -hmm. I felt I want to go to teaching. So I went mm -hmm. back to university and mm -hmm. I did a postgraduate certificate in education. And by the time I finished, mm -hmm. I was a UK qualified teacher. Sasa kuingia kwa class. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to imagine because umesema ni age from what age? It's from 11 to 18 years. 11 to 18 years. Yeah. Huyo ni mtu, mtoto wanajua huyo ni mtu nyaudhi ya meigia kwa class na mzugu. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, kuna ile especially kama kwa sana sana kuzu the color. Yeah. How could you go here and uh, no. some of the challenges you met when you got to the class? Uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, challenges are everywhere. Mm -hmm. But I have to say that uh, my students were quite gentle. Right. Um, I told you before I even finished my, my postgraduate my postgraduate in education, mm -hmm. I already got a job with the UK government itself. Wow. And they applied for my work 
permit and mm. I started teaching mm. straight into teaching mm -hmm. and uh, of course I went as a fully qualified UK teacher like mm -hmm. any other teacher with mm. a form I was teaching geography and I was a form tutor I had mm. my own group that came reported to me every morning wow I watched them and get to know how you know we yes. call them form tutor mm. so um I have to say the grace of God mm -hmm. but I remember one kid mm. in year eight telling me <laughs> miss I've never had a black teacher mm -hmm. and we are so proud of you. Wow. Yeah. So I stayed in that school for over 12 years. And then after 12 years, I now moved to another school. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, in you know, all humbleness that I've taught in very high achieving schools here. Mm -hmm. I just finished King Edwards. Wow. One of the top schools in mm -hmm. the UK. And by God's grace, I'm moving now to a, an, another school in September awesome. by God's promotion. Congratulations. Yeah. This, it's, it's this, these are God's kind goodness. of things we want to hear. Yeah. See what we to kusikia wanakata nyasi uraya. Ni mutu wanakuja. You come here, you advance and tunaingia na hii community and we do great like they do, right? Yeah, yeah. The thing is, mm -hmm. I'm so glad that uh, I'm talking to you here yes. because I'm here to encourage some, yes. someone there. We say kasi ni kasi. Mm. You can do this job as you do something else. Yes. Like I told you, when I came here, I already had a job mm. with an agency to go and teach. Yes. But because of my family and mm. my husband was studying, right. I had to work at night yes. because I really didn't want to disrupt him thinking mm -hmm. about I had to drop the kids to school. I have mm. to keep he picked the kids yes. from school mm -hmm. and he had to concentrate on his studies right. on his studies mm -hmm. so i did that because we had to pay for the house rent mm -hmm. we needed to eat but that did not stop me there yes. so you can do this as you look for something mm -hmm. else and at the same time don't lose your dream mm -hmm. and don't lose your person right. for me mm -hmm. I love being a teacher. Mm. I told you I even did cancer. I'm a qualified counselor right. in education, mm -hmm. but I felt I'm called to go to class. Mm. And I'm really happy when I see kids doing well right. or when I'm leaving school mm. and kids know I'm leaving school to another mm. school and they are crying. Well, now, let's come back to Kenya because yeah. I know there are so many teachers who are watching you right now. Yeah. Maybe they are geography teachers, other history teachers, and of yeah. course they feel, oh my God. Comparison. Yeah. Ya masomo ya hapa na ya nyumbani uh -huh. when you came over here uh -huh. and of, you have done this for quite some time. Uh -huh. Uliona utafauti kuna utofauti either ni kimshahara ama ni kiwanafunzi ama ni kisystem ya ya. ya. I, I, I would have to admit everything is completely different. Right. Um uh, in the UK mm. you must be ready to advance. Yes. It's called professional development. Right. <laughs> Because even after I, I did my postgraduate in counseling and I graduated, mm -hmm. I went back and I did my postgraduate in education and I got the UK qualified teacher status. Right. I didn't stop there. Mm -hmm. After I started my job now here mm -hmm. as a fully qualified teacher, mm -hmm. when I finished my induction year, mm -hmm. which we called NQT, mm -hmm. I went back to university. Okay. And I did a master's in education now, mm -hmm. which I major, I concentrated on uh, management and leadership. Mm -hmm. And also I did it in modules. Mm -hmm. You know, like, yeah. I was teaching full-time, mm -hmm. but every Wednesday, I went to the university. Mm -hmm. So I did it part-time. And I did it in modules. Mm -hmm. I looked at some areas that I need to research on. Yes. So I did the safeguarding. I really wanted to develop in IT mm -hmm. because we didn't have that good IT background. Right. And I wanted to get into my career knowing that I can do like any other teacher. Yes. So I did a module in IT. Mm -hmm. And then I did leadership and management. And also did how to manage mm. experienced teachers. More than me. Yeah. Uh, you have to, mm. you have to. So you are challenging some of us. Yeah. Uh, like we, 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 I mean, we are supposed to get back to school and get these documents and these papers all together and, just be like you. When we grow up, we want to be like you. Yeah. Now, let's come back to this. Yeah. Of course, how are you, Musasa, wako Kenya? Yeah. Na wako hapa, maybe somebody is in the UK right now. Yeah. Alikuja hapa, hakupata mtu kama wewe. Anaheza mu advisor, muambie, now, this is the route to go. Mm. So, what do you do? Kusaidia watu kama hao, maybe a teacher in Kenya who wanna come to the UK? Uh, what I would, I would, I've tried to talk to some of them, but right. it also depends with one's choice. Mm -hmm. There are some people who come here and then realize maybe I can change the career because mm -hmm. in the UK there are so many options. Right. People but just go to university and change into uh, yes. change into other yes. careers. Yes. So it, it's one's decision. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think uh, what has I've seen kind of discouraging most teachers mm -hmm. is the British kids. Mm -hmm. And the British kids are kids like any other kids. Mm -hmm. They, they listen to you, you handle them, mm -hmm. you know. If it is school, there's how schools for all there's yes. the behavior system mm -hmm. for the rewards, for mm -hmm. the if it is sanctions. Mm -hmm. So you just need to know that. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, I always tell the Kenyan teachers if you want to come and teach here, mm -hmm. uh, 
get to know you're coming to teach the British kids. Right. The Kenyan kids are Kenyan kids. Mm. We love them. Yes. The British kids are British kids. We you have to adopt to that. Right. And then where you go somewhere near Jeremy, mm. the, we advise you just learn the environment first, mm -hmm. understand the culture, mm -hmm. and then when you understand the environment right. and the culture, mm. then you're able to get into it right. and settle down. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. So what about the students who maybe want, because I know now we're in that field, Mm -hmm. working with students i mean una saidia wanafunzi namna gani hiyo information yote me gather there must be a route there must be a way people can be able like you did a prior schools yeah with uh, so what happened mm -hmm. is because of being asked so many questions by so many people mm -hmm. parents and guardians here in the uk mm -hmm. parents back home and even across a lot across the world yes. i decided because i can't talk to individual one by one mm -hmm. i started a youtube channel right and then i i would tell people is there a topic that you want me to address mm -hmm. through my youtube channel let mm -hmm. me know and yes. then i'll address that and okay. i have been trying to address that uploading short videos mm -hmm. talking and addressing the different questions that mm -hmm. have been asked okay yeah so. like if i could uh, give an example mm -hmm. uh, someone was asking about how do i apply for the comparability mm -hmm. of my Kenyan uh, qualifications mm -hmm. so that with the UK one yes. and I, I just uploaded a video and explained that very clearly in the video okay yeah so mtu akitaka kwenda kwa YouTube channel yako my YouTube channel is Anaji Kimani mm -hmm. and uh, I um Anaji Kimani is A N N A H mm -hmm. G right. Kimani mm -hmm. K I M A N I right energy money mm -hmm. when you go there you mm -hmm. google it you'll find you go to youtube you'll find me there and i've dressed i've addressed a lot and a lot of topics okay yeah that's good so just in case you need any information yeah. about education uh your mambo ya compatibility ya kuangalia masomo yako ama inaingira na ya uk of course she has all that information yeah. in her youtube channel and as you can see apa chini ya screen you can just go to that youtube channel subscribe yeah that's number one yes and follow then from there you'll be able to be saving news unafanya uh, nini uh, like every week because i'm quite i i'm i'm, I'm quite busy I, yes. I told you i teach full time yes. uh teaching in the uk mm -hmm. is <laughs> you have to be at the notch yes, of it know. you know mm -hmm. it's really really detailed mm -hmm. uh, so i only upload a full video depending mm -hmm. on the questions that people have asked me right I only have put a full video once a month. Okay. I try to do it at the beginning of each month. Okay. But in between, anytime regularly, I do short videos right. directing people to another main video. Mm -hmm. Like if someone asked me a question and had addressed that question in that full video, mm -hmm. I, have, I just upload a short video mm -hmm. and direct them to the main video okay. or I just upload <coughs> a remix yes. and then direct them with a full URL link of right. that video mm -hmm. that had addressed. Okay. Yeah. So what when you are in UK right now? Yes, please. Either ni watoto, watu wazima, kama sisi sasa ni watu wa UK. Sasa mm. unawasaidiaje? The people who are already here and yeah. they want to advance their education. Yeah, the thing is uh, I, I, I just uh, advise the young people mm -hmm. and especially if they have come from abroad yes just remember that's an opportunity yes and you have to size mm. every opportunity right so encourage them work smart mm -hmm. work hard right when you go to a classroom you are seated there the mm. teacher won't differentiate i'm teaching this white kid or this asian kid or yes. this chinese kid mm -hmm. and leave that black kid mm -hmm. you're all there in that classroom you just need to work smart work hard mm -hmm. you know follow the procedures that mm. your teachers are giving you in order to make progress right. make sure that you set the bar very high you're right because in the uk mm -hmm. and i would say maybe any other developed countries mm -hmm. there are a lot of opportunities yes so make sure mm -hmm. as a young person mm -hmm. i'm talking to you there as in the uk and diaspora mm. and even in kenya yes make size that opportunity when you are in that age mm -hmm and get those qualifications mm -hmm. get that work experience mm -hmm. so that because you are growing up right. so that when you're at that age mm -hmm. you're turning 21 yes you won't look back and feel like i wasted my time and you're going back to school mm -hmm. trying to catch up with qualifications mm -hmm. that you could have got yes. when you're young you're right yeah wow i'm very proud of you anna yeah, yeah. and of course thank you very much for sticking I mean, I'll say doing what is in you because you're doing a challenge, sana watu wengi. Yeah, Jeremy, if I could take you back. Yes. Um, you know, in Kenya, mm -hmm. we have got a lot of opportunities in Kenya, right? And some things that we assume mm -hmm. as just hobbies mm -hmm. 
or talents yes. or are like doing mm -hmm. you really don't know where they'll take you in the future mm. you know i told you when i came here mm -hmm. i had applied for the uh post i mean the masters in counseling skills and right. education yes. and they told me that they don't over it to of a C student mm -hmm. is for home students. Yes. And by God's grace, I found myself here. Mm -hmm. And when I went, they didn't deny me that opportunity. Right. I was the only foreign student in that class. It was all right. British mm -hmm. students. Wow. And I remember when I went for the interview, mm -hmm. they asked me, what have you done to help people? Mm -hmm. And I look back and they told me, apart from teaching, mm -hmm. You are being paid. Right. It's your career. Mm -hmm. What else have you done to help people? Mm -hmm. As I told you, I was born in Komodai. Mm -hmm. So I grew up in the village. Right. I'm a village mm -hmm. girl. But I had this passion of identifying the elderly people mm -hmm. in our community. Mm -hmm. And then when I came from school, mm -hmm. I would go to the, our coffee farm. Yes. Correct? You know, the branches that mm -hmm. you know we would uh, cooking firewood, yes. you know, when the coffee branches dry up yes. and the small stems. Mm -hmm. And then I would just correct tie them on my back, go taking them to the elderly people in our village. Right. And then the water, you know, most homes didn't have running water. Yes. So I would carry water with a kabuyu mm -hmm. from very young age. My mom says even from five years, wow. I used to do that. Mm -hmm. And I would kabuyu mm. na pereka, na pereke the elderly mm. people. And at times my mom, when the coffee is pruned, yes. she would tie the what we call the stem, mm. gosia, go. kahua, eh. and she would help me go to each, each home taking to these elderly people. Fushe na gusia gusia mehua and yes, yes. Mm. when I told them that I had done that, when I told the professor mm. who was doing the me, the interview yes. that I had done that, mm. it, she just told me, me, you have got the offer. Awesome. Yeah. Mutu endere kufanya mema. Na kufanya vire. Exactly. The opportunity that you have got. You are right. And something else I wanted to say, mm -hmm. I remember because I was the when I moved to Adrine boys yes. now. We, when we were going through school, we didn't have the IT mm -hmm. background. Mm -hmm. And here in the UK, you can't teach with IT, without IT mm -hmm. because everything is smart boards, mm -hmm. computers, and all that. Right. So what happened when I was there, there was a gentleman who came with two computers mm -hmm. at Kegumo Shopping Center mm -hmm. <laughs> and started teaching people IT. I was his first student. Wow. I, I went, I, I did the basic, mm -hmm. I did the word mm -hmm. i did the excel mm -hmm. i did the powerpoint mm -hmm. ms you know powerpoint yes. when i spoke to my head teacher and i told him i would want to do this course so because i was residing at school right and there were some teachers who were coming from Roiro Simaman, mm -hmm. i just told the head teacher let all my lessons be put in the morning hours yes. because i'm walking from the staff quarters to the to school right put all my lessons in the morning mm -hmm. and then if those were commuting can maybe from 10 a.m. and right. that and then give me two free afternoons i can go and do the it and the head teacher did that wow. so i used to go monday mm -hmm. and and i used to go thursday mm -hmm. thursday afternoon i did the ms word excel powerpoint not mm -hmm. knowing mm -hmm. not knowing yes. where i'm heading with it you know so i did that and then of course i found here so when i came here i was not green with it mm -hmm. So I had some basic background on, I'm preparing a lesson. Right. I have to upload a PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. I've got 30 kids in front of me. It was not overwhelming for me because right. I had the IT background. Awesome. Yeah. So now what is the plan? What's the idea now? What's the vision? Uh, my vision is to reach people. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm already teaching. Yes. Um, I would want to retire a teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've had so many opportunities to go this way. I, actually, I didn't tell you at one point I became a lecturer. Mm -hmm. After, after wow. I got my masters in education i got a job as a lecturer right but after teaching for some time i felt no <laughs> mm. i think i'm caught with the teenagers right. I, I think i enjoy working with the young people okay. so i went back now to the school mm -hmm. in the 11 to 18 mm -hmm. years so i'd want to continue working with the young people personally okay. and talking to the young people that i'm teaching who are my students and across the whole world Amen. and that's why i started the, the youtube channel mm -hmm. and if you have got any question you can get me to me through the YouTube channel comment right. and also I've got a website. Mm. Yes, so give us the website. There is a, through on, there on my website you can you can chat. Mm -hmm. My website my website is Anna G Kemani Publications dot com. Anna G Kemani Publications dot com. com. By the way I also write books. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> you have one already? I I, I didn't bring them here. I wish okay. I, mm -hmm. I I didn't think about that. But I've written several books. Mm -hmm. And also I have written student uh diaries right. which are tamre mm -hmm. from january 
to April, May to August, mm -hmm. and September to December. Wow. Which is, it's their A4. They are selling at Amazon. Mm -hmm. If you go to Amazon, dot com or amazon.co.uk and then you type in my name Anna Kimani mm -hmm. A N N A H Kimani K I M A N I all my books will come there all my diaries will come there right and you can place an order they are quite good for for for, for revision amen yeah wow i'm very proud of you and of course i wish you all and the at best. the moment i'm writing a book <laughs> do we have the title already uh it's it's still cooking okay. i mean writing it but i want to address it as growing up in the kenyan highlands growing up in the kenyan highlands, highlands. but that is going to be a children storybook just inspiring mm. the young people right that you can make it. Kabisa, can there. thank you very much. What were Birmingham? I live in Birmingham. Hapa in UK. Hapa in I live UK. in Birmingham in the US. I wish yes. I can oh. get that time to go to Birmingham. Nilisikia wale wazugu walitoka Birmingham hapa di walikuja kwetu kule USA. Now we can organize, you can visit Birmingham. At least ni kuja watu wa Birmingham. So at least mwemi wakilisho hapa yupandu wa UK. I wish you the best. Of course, she has said if you want to get... Uko huna Facebook? Niko na Facebook. My Facebook is... Oh. Eke mani public publications aka money publications yes. get her on that facebook if yeah. you have that burning question yeah. about coming to school here or maybe you are here you want to advance your study uh, yeah. your education yeah. well i know anna i know her spirit i know her heart yeah. and as a of course they don't even know what to take as careers they yeah. are here muzaya na kuambia unataka uwe pilot mtoto pia yeye akisikiza hapana yeah by the way i have addressed that mm -hmm. um I don't believe in suppressing the kids right. personally. Yes. I'm a parent yes. uh, because that talent, mm -hmm. that gifting could have dubbed in the career. Yes. For, exa for example, in sports, mm. there are some kids who are very good in sports. Yes. You, as they, pursue, they continue with their education, mm. don't suppress that talent, mm -hmm. build it up. Because like, let's say careers in sports, mm. maybe people retire quite yes. early. Uh, yes. So you can just let them go through that. Mm. Try to boost it mm. as they pursue their education. Right. So that by the time they retire, mm. then they can come back to the qualification they had. And uh, if I could, they, there's some video I've addressed on that. Most mm. of the UK, yes. British uh, sportsmen and women, right. they have got very high careers. Mm. Most of them, mm -hmm. they work really hard in their GCSEs right. and they got the grades. Mm -hmm. And then they did the A levels, mm -hmm. they got their grades, yes. and then they took a break to concentrate mm -hmm. in the sport, mm -hmm. and then they came back and pursued. Most Wak of them are qualified doctors. Yeah, mm. most of them are qualified Hapa doctors. Hapa nasikia kuna Manchester, diyo kuna Arsenal, kuna yeah. Liverpool, kuna, yeah. kuna Tottenham. And, uh, and others have got other careers. Like most of the sportsmen and women here, especially women are medical, are qualified medical doctors. Mi nataka kweda Arsenal, wanachasagia wapi kiwa jagani? Yeah, maybe. Ah, yeah, uh, we have some behind the camera, behind the camera. But of course, yeah. thank you very much for yeah. coming. Yeah. Na shukuru sana. I'm here in uh, UK, yeah. and of course, you have inspired us. Yeah. And thank you very much. Thank Umesema, you. always a teacher. Always a teacher. And uh, if they have got further questions, like my website, mm -hmm. on all the YouTube channels that I upload, mm -hmm. when you go to the description, mm -hmm. you'll get all the contacts there if you miss getting what I was saying, maybe. Thank you very much. God bless you. Jeremy Damaris. Thank you.